Hello fellow Simmers, it's Samuel Beerman of BLS here and I'm here with a late part two of the Bodmin and Wenford Railway for Trains Railroad Simulator 2019. In this particular video I'm using Trains Plus to show you it. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't yet seen part one, do check it out. I'll link part one's video in the description of, the, of this video. So you can just go over to that link and just see part one and that does basically Bodmin General, no not is it Bodmin General? Yeah, Bodmin General to Boscarn Junction and we did that in 47306, the Sapper. This time we're going to be taking a look at the afternoon Class 37 run which I presume is with the railway's resident Class 37, 37142 on a 13 mile chip, chip, trip. <laughs> But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that and give that for a run down there and do the basically second half of the Bobbin Wenford Railway. Um, I have took a brief peek at this scenario, and uh, we do actually go down to Bobbin Parkway first before going to Boscarn Junction. So we are actually covering the section we haven't actually you know done yet. So, without further ado, let's get into this. And if you're not aware of where this route can be downloaded from, you can download it from the Trains Download Station, and you can also get it from the British Trains website. I'll link British Trains website in the description of the video as well. And this is by a Mark Linham, who has created this route. He's done it all himself, and it is honestly absolutely fantastic, and he's done an absolutely brilliant job of it, as you've probably seen in the previous video that we've done. So, without further ado, let's get back into this and run the second half of this video. So, if you haven't got Trains Plus, I recommend getting Trains Plus, actually. I think it's around about uh, £15 a month, I think, or I must, I might be wrong. £10 a month, maybe, to get the gold ticket. And basically, you get a load of free DLC uh, downloads if you subscribe and be a subscriber for ever so amount of months and stuff like that so it's a really good benefit to get trains plus and and um the um the gold membership first class ticket so you get unlimited content pretty much for this game it's certainly worth doing so i recommend doing that and you can find that on the oran store Okay, so afternoon class 37 run. Good afternoon and welcome to the Bodmin and Wenford Railway. You'll be driving this class 37, 37142, on a 13 mile round trip of both branches of the railway. First going down to the Bodmin Parkway branch, running around, then returning to Bodmin General, calling at Coles Lodge on both trips. You will then run round at Bodmin General before then going down to Buscarn Junction branch running around and returning to Bodmin General. Both lines are steeply graded, so you need to control your speed. There are several SW boards on the line, which means sound whistle. There is a map of the line and your timetable below. Your scheduled departure time is 13.25. Wait for the signal from your guard. There is our map there and there is our time. So we need to get to Bodmin Parkway at 13.42. So let's get into this and let's do it. So we want to be driving cab mode, obviously, because, um, you know, we've got to do realistic driving mode. And we're going to be using the SRS Trains Class 37, it looks like here. So this is from SRS Trains. You can go and download this from the SRS Trains website, so do check those out as well. So that's SRS and then Trains with a Z. And they have this fantastic Class 37 model with, believe it or not, very good sounds as well. I believe these sounds are from... Um, I think they were permitted use by Armstrong from Powerhouse, so I'm not too sure, because they do sound awfully similar to the Wary Lines uh, sound set of Class 37. Uh, don't quote me on that, they might be their own sounds, uh, but it does sound very similar. I mean, they could have recorded the, the same 37 for all we know. Anyway, let's get into our cab of our loco. And as you can see here, we're all in, in our cab here. So we're going to set up our cab for departure. So, well, obviously our change end switch have probably already done. Um, I think you can open and close this door. Oh no, uh, okay, fair enough. Right, okay, put a reverser into forward gear. Apparently, a selected train is not under user control. Why is this then? Okay, we appear to be having some uh, technical issues here. Selected train isn't under user control. Why is that then? What's 
weird. Okay, so we still appear to be having a, a sort of a bug here. I don't understand why it's not under user control. So if I remove the driver and then add the driver back. So let's say, uh, do they have a Sam on here? Ian, let's just go with Ian. Okay, so I've assigned a driver and we've still got absolutely nothing in the means of... Well, we appear to be having some really big technical issues here. Okay, let's just forget about that and we'll move on to a different scenario because it obviously just doesn't work. So Mark, do take note that your scenario doesn't actually work on that. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. Um... Well, I mean, this Hunslet scenario looks like it goes down to uh, Bodmin Parkway, so we'll just give that a go, I suppose. So we're going to be driving a steam locomotive this time, then, instead. Would you look at that? Something a bit different. Let's start again then, shall we? Uh, it's, the, it's the same thing as pretty much the last scenario we did. Yeah, it's the same, exactly the same. So we're going to be arriving at Bombing Parkway at 1342, okay? So this is number WD198, Royal Engineer. It's obviously visiting the railway. Is there a way to lean out of this cab? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're all ready to go by the looks of it. Right. Uh, wait, no, we're departing at 1325, aren't we? So we're not ready to go yet, so we'll just have to wait until 1325. So we just have a look around our cab. So we've got... Got a firebox Is it open, or... I can't open the firebox, that's interesting. Oh, well, let's get our train into ready, ready for departure. We're going in reverse. Any time today would be nice, guys. I want to. I'm sort of waiting for the guard's whistle. Well, apparently, we've got a bell, but an austerity doesn't have a bell. Right, off we go then. Why is it going the wrong way? We're supposed to be going in reverse. Why is reverse forward and forward is reverse? That's weird. I've got no boiler pressure. What the hell? What's going on with this game today? Huh? 
How do you change the control type again? I forgot now. Oh, this really isn't going well, is it? This is pissing me off now. Got this is oh that's how you do it. Such so slow speeds down here, isn't there? Always actually put these as Mark 1 coach engine specs. Oh, that's good, so it's not making a, a noise as it sits there. Look at all these trees and the grass and everything. I mean, it's just, just look at the depth of detail that he's gone into just making this. I mean, it is, it's lovely, isn't it? It really is an awesome route. Great job, Mark. Mm. Great job. That's all I can say about it. I mean, it's just that. The, it is quite breathtaking. Right, so we can start getting some speed now. Bang on 25 mile an hour, look, here we go. Okay, so we're approaching a five mile an hour speed restriction for the points at Walker, La at Walker Line sidings, okay? So yes, we need to slow down and make sure that we don't overspeed over the tempi speed limit.
So they actually have a temporary speed limit here in real life, guys. Let me know. I'll be interested to know. Uh, so it has a temporary speed limit here. Any particular reason of that to why it is like that? I mean, why can't we go 25 miles per hour over this section? Is it something to do with the points? Is the points a bit dodgy? What is it then? What's the what's the deal here? Let us know. I mean, look at this cutting. I mean, it's just, it really is astonishing, isn't it? I can see we've got Cole's Logic Hulk coming up. Is it Cole's, Cole's Logic Hulk, guys, or is it Cole's Logit Hulk? Well, guys, say I do apologise for getting these pronunciations wrong of these stations. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. Isn't it lovely? Where the trees are swaying in the wind. Grand. Check if we don't have any sound whistle boards coming down here. We are speeding slightly, we need to slow down a bit. going over the bridge look I mean, it really is it's such a nice route it, it just is I can't like I haven't really got any complaints about it I mean obviously I don't I've never actually been to the Bob and Wenford railway so I can't tell you just how accurate this route is but judging by the photos I've been videos I've seen of the actual railway uh, this route really isn't far off and it looks pretty much spot on really uh, I mean the detail is just fantastic I mean look all this 3d grass 3d trees it all looks very lifelike and I say I just think this game is really quite underrated for what it is because it really is a lovely looking game I mean the graphics have really picked up since trains 2012 era you know the, the, the new implementation of the Unreal Engine has really upped this game big style and it's um, it's it's made or on sort of get in with all the other modern sims as it were because you know it looks nice it runs smoothly enough and yeah it just it's it's not bad it really isn't bad guys so i do recommend going over to oron or even steam because i think steam does this game as well and just buy this game because it is actually really good uh, you can do easy edits you know it's not it's not too hard to 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 to, to do root building it's actually really simple to do root building and um, you know to change sounds on locos. I mean, yeah, it's a bit bit complex. But for me, for me, it's 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 a lot easier than what it would be in other Sims. So it's quite the customization in this game is is easy, and you can do lots with it. And that's that's what's important. And people like that. Oh wow! Look, that is that is some scenery. That is some scenery. Look at that, guys. Oh, yes. 
Very nice. Look, we've got a wind turbine up in the distance over there, look. Very, very nice. Okay, so here we are coming up to Coles Lodge at Holt. So we need to make sure we stop here to let our passengers board. We've obviously got a request up. Oh, I'm liking the use of the bench on there. Look at all these little bits and pieces, all this detail. It's really, really nice, isn't it? Due to part 1335, we're late. No, can't do that. Oh no, we're late. We need to start like picking up speed a bit. But look at it. I love how you can do the walking around camera. It's cool, isn't it? That's the entrance to the halt. And whoa, okay. So we've gone gone a bit funny there. But yeah, that it's, it's, it's custom buildings are really nice on the route. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, we need to get a move on down to Bobbin Parkway because we're running late. You know how to speed a bit. We might just have to. Look at this. This is really impressive. I mean, just look at the depth. You can see just the the amount of work that this guy has gone through to build this. I mean, just look at that. Impressive, isn't it? You can't knock it. Here you come. Wildlife in the fields, look sheep and stuff. We'll start coming up to our ten mile an hour limit now. Do I get any points for that? Oh, come on, I've got zero points. Look, what's what's this about? And then again, it's it's not. I, I call it, it's not really playing a game. Are we We're playing a simulator? It's not, it's not really about the gameplay, is it? Oh, look at this! Wow. Again guys, let us know what you think of this route in the comments because this, this is really good and go and download it because you won't be disappointed. You get lots of scenarios with it, the route is very highly detailed, it looks realistic, it feels and looks like the real Bobman and Wenford Railway, I mean what else can you want really, I mean this, this has, I mean these guys in trains, they build routes to such high standards and you guys honestly I give you a massive pat on the back. I want more preserved routes like this and the Swanage from Portline Parker. I want more preserved routes in trains that look as detailed and fantastic like this because I really have a thrill and I really enjoy driving them 
So guys, you go ahead and you make more preserved roots because I'd absolutely love to see more. Okay, so here we are coming to Bobbin Parkway. So this is where uh, the railway links to the main line. This is where you usually get off to have an interchange for the railway if you want to come to the steam railway. Custom buildings, custom station signs, look, good quality too. We've got First Great Western written underneath of them. So we're going to take a look around this station when we stop. You can now uncouple from your coaches and start to run round. Once you stop on these markers, the junctions will automatically change. Oh, that's good. You were due to arrive oh, late. It's just one minute late. Come on, that's that's really harsh. So what we've got here. I want the fly camera. So, look at this. We've got a 3D concrete track with 3D ballast as well, which is just something else I love about this game. They actually do 3D ballast as well, and it just looks that much more real look. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so, we've got here, look, we've got signs that say Bobbin Parkway, a light here for bus services to Bobbin, Wade Bridge, and Padstow, and for the Bobbin and Wenford Railway. Also, for... Oh, well, I can't even say that. I'm not even going to bother saying that. But, yeah, there's uh, some really quite nice quality signs here. I mean, it's not 100% like... As you can see, it's quite... It's not 100% eligible. It's not like full HD textures. But, despite that, it looks very nice and you can sort of read it. I mean, look at all this. I mean, just like all the train times, all the posters... Uh, signal box, custom signal box. This is quite pixelated, but to be honest, it's just nice to have custom buildings on it, so it doesn't really bother me too much. It doesn't have to be f brilliant. But yeah, I mean, look at this. Got all this detail. Really, really good. Okay, so can we disconnect our train now and run around? We'll run around. Uh, Look at Royal Engineer as well. It just looks lovely, doesn't it? This game is really isn't bad, guys. It really isn't. What was the HST? Look. Oh, that's a cracking shot. There. That should be like a thumbnail. change automatically but oh, I've got to stop there that's why it has to be a specific point it'll change now anyway I've got HST let's have a look at the HST oh, walk camera now 
There she is, look, HST. That's great to see some AI going here. We've got a, a bit of mainline action. That's really loud, that HST. Oh, it's off. Nice, doesn't it? The scenics are great. Okay, so once I've coupled this up, guys, this will end our video because I don't want it to be too long. But that would be my full coverage of the route because there's nowhere else it really goes. This is it. This is all we've, we've covered it all. If you want to see the Boscan Junction part, then please do see the previous video of this look at the Bodmin and Wenford Railway by British Trains. Okay guys, so that ends my video of Mark Linham's Bodmin Wenford Railway for British Trains and obviously for TRS 2019. You can go and grab this from the British Trains website or the Oran Download Station. Oh well, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this... Oh, there's a guard whistle. I hope you enjoyed this video and look at the Bodmin and Wenford Railway and I'll see you in the next video. So don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This has been Samuel Beeman of BLS and goodbye for now.